What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter and we're going to take a look at this absolutely cool floor plan. This is a Rockwood Signature. This thing is super cool, super tall, a lot of really great upgrades and the folks at Rockwood do it right. They have a really, really awesome floor plan here. We're going to take a closer look at it. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, starting with the numbers, this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,865 pounds, a dry weight of 7,743 pounds. It's roughly 30 feet long, a little less than that, but it has a cargo capacity of 2,063 pounds. So this is a big boy and it's heavy. It's not super, super long, but it is very, very heavy. So this is definitely something you wanna to tow at least with a three quarter ton truck with a properly set up tow package because it'll put a hurting on a half ton truck. You definitely don't want to use a half ton for this. Anyways, we're gonna hop inside of this unit, then we'll come back out and take a look at the outside. Okay, so this is the Rockwood 8263 MBR. A lot of really, really cool features and things that they've done on these Rockwoods. And we'll take a look at the outside when we're done so you can see them. But yeah, these things are uh, really, really nice travel trailers. Stepping inside. Okay. So, one thing that really stands out about this unit as I pan around is the fact that it's kind of a split unit. And when I say split, it's almost split down the center with living room versus bedroom bathroom. So they've done a lot of really interesting things here and they've given a lot of separation between the bedroom and bathroom and the living room. But the focus on space in this unit is definitely the kitchen and the bedroom. Uh, the living room, not so much as you can tell. But if this is a floor plan you like, there's gonna be a lot of reasons why you probably like it. So first of all, as I stand back here, you can see this area right here. This is really cool. This is like an enormous kitchen. The kitchen is almost what I would consider to be too large for this RV design because again, it takes up a lot of space, but if you like a really nice kitchen, well, this might be the unit for you. It's got a really cool bar up here. This is all real solid surface Corian style countertops. You have your TV hanging on the wall right there with the sound bar beneath it. Magic Chef compact microwave. And then beneath that, you have a three burner cooktop with an oven range. Over here, you got more cabinetry, more drawers below, lots of cabinetry around this unit, a lot of storage space. I mean, that's just massive. And then even more right here. You got drawers over here. This flips out. Spot for your silverware, cutlery, things like that. But take a look at this countertop space. You want to talk about the perfect spot for a coffee maker right there. And even right here because there's a plug right there. A lot of cabinetry up top. This has an MSRP of $69,977. This is a 2023 model. So about $70,000 because when you buy Rockwood, you're paying for you know, a pretty nice unit. And not only that, you're gonna see a big discount off of that price. So you're not actually gonna pay 69,977 for this unit. It's probably gonna be significantly less. They have blackout blinds as well as day shades, which is really nice. Over here, you have your Magic Chef 12 volt refrigerator and freezer. You have a slide right here and another slide behind it. But on this slide, you have theater style seating little spot here for plugging things in and USB connections, which is really nice. I almost would have preferred a bed, not a bed, but a sleeper sofa, something that could have folded out. Theater seating is really nice, don't get me wrong, but because of this, this is really only a couple's unit because you can't really sleep children in here unless somebody just wants to be reclined on the chair or they want to flip that up and lay across it, which isn't ideal. It faces towards the TV, which is really nice. This bar area is super cool, especially if you're gonna be working from an RV. You set your computer, everything up here. You got your power cable connections right here also. The cable connection is kind of confusing to me because I don't really understand under what circumstances you would want that right there. I don't know, unless it's for maybe a, maybe a cable box or something that you're gonna be also installing. Coming into the entrance, you have a nice little closet here. If you take the shelves out, you can use it to hang clothes. Up here, you have all your controls. This is also Bluetooth compatible. You have your Go Power controller up here, which means there's probably some solar on the roof. You have two air conditioning units, one right here, and then you have one back there. Here's your thermostat. Stepping into the bedroom. So there's a lot to say about this bedroom. Both the kitchen and the bedroom feel like they came out of like a giant fifth wheel. 
That's really kind of what it feels like. It feels like you're in the back section of a 44 foot long fifth wheel because of this. It's interesting. All your pillows, beautiful headboard, nice blackout shades on your windows. A lot of storage above. You probably have storage beneath the bed as well, I'm guessing. You do. On strut arms. Okay, so you actually have storage in the back, a ton of it, plus you have drawers that can pull out right here. Very nice, very convenient. Spinning around. Ton of wardrobe over here. I mean, it's just everywhere. There's your other thermostat for the back AC unit. You got wardrobe all over the place. You got drawers all over the place, full extension slides. Very, very cool. You got blackout blinds on this window as well. Backer for a TV. Again, your second AC unit. A lot of wardrobe hanging space in here. You got some cabinets below. All right, let's step into the bathroom. All right, so you have a huge shower in here. Again, this kind of feels like it was pulled out of a fifth wheel. The only space that's kind of lacking in this unit is really the living room space. But check out all the cabinetry and mirrors you got going on up here. Plus you have twin basin sinks. So you have stainless steel sink here, one right there, thermofoil countertop. You have a little power charging station with wireless charging there. A lot of cabinetry underneath. This is kind of a cool storage area. Great for toothpaste, perfumes, colognes, things like that. Porcelain foot flush toilet. You have your rear window here as well with blackout line. Storage for toiletries, toilet papers. This also uses the shower miser, which is this right here. Basically it changes color when the water's warm. So you can put it on this recirculation where the water basically is circulating through here. Then when it gets warm, changes colors. So you're not wasting water as it just sprays until the water gets hot. So that is really cool. Anyways, let's step outside and uh, show you the outside of this unit. Okay, starting from the front, working our way back. First and foremost, this unit has auto leveling on it, which is super cool. So very rare to see auto leveling on travel trailers. You're starting to see it on more of your higher end units, which this certainly qualifies as. So it does have auto leveling. It's of course power front tongue jack because of that. Twin 30 pound propane cans, spot for two batteries right here. Beautiful, beautiful front cap, all frameless windows. Nice thick baggage doors. You got some good storage back here as well as access to some of your plumbing. So this is the space underneath the sink. Those are the cabinet doors that we showed you on the inside. There's your auto leveling controls as well and your instructions on how to use them. Here's one of your front auto leveling jacks. Outside of your water heater, has a large awning. Of course, it's a power awning, along with a protection sleeve that wraps around it when it's retracted. So it protects it from UV damage. You have your Moride Step Above Steps. Goodyear Endurance Tires. I mean, if, if you're noticing, there's a trend here. Almost everything is high-end on this unit. This has torsion axles, so it doesn't have your traditional leaf-sprung axles. Again, another nice upgrade. There's your back leveling system jacks. Outside power and cable for your TV whenever you put it on this bracket. And you also have a grill that can hang off as well. So you can cook, outside shower, furnace. You have an outside refrigerator as well. Coming around back, four inch tubular bumper, all LED lighting. I love the fact that they put this rack on the back so you can carry your generator with you or other equipment. You definitely wanna make sure you don't overload the rack though. You have a hatch back here, which, okay, so this is to access your water pump, filter and accessories. So that's cool. So if you have a problem with your water pump, they give you a really convenient way to access it. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. Have your steps to get on top of the fully walkable roof. You have your water control panel right here. 50 amp connection right there. Outside shower, nice lighting above it. I love when I see lighting in this area. You show up at a campground at night, you definitely want lighting and uh, more manufacturers are starting to incorporate that. Low point drains, sewer connections over here, your other jack. This is gonna have a rack and pinion slide and the frame is an eight inch I-beam frame. You also get a better view of your torsion suspension right there. Very cool. They've done a lot of really, really nice things with this unit. This is gonna be storage underneath your master bed and it's a ton of storage. You can put a lot of stuff in here. The hatch isn't huge, so it's really whatever you can fit in here, you can probably put. Another rack and pinion slide up here. And then you're gonna have more storage space right here. Not a ton of it, but it goes up quite a bit. I mean, that's really, really tall. So you could fit 
brooms, mops, things like that in there, or other things that you might be able to figure out, you know, will fit in there. But what do you guys think? Super cool Rockwood signature unit. Like I said, a lot of upgrades, but with that, these things aren't inexpensive. And uh, you definitely want to give them a call to see what the sale price is, because I can guarantee you the sale price is significantly less than the MSRP on that paper. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.